Imagine looking with one of the best and most reliable telescopes in the direction of our neighboring galaxy, the Magellanic Cloud, and suddenly a strange, billowing, and ring-shaped object appears in front of your lens. What would you think of? A cosmic jellyfish? A ring-shaped signature of a previously unknown object? Or a cosmic nebula? Researchers who first spotted the object, J0624-6948, felt at a loss. No one had an answer as to what this thing really was. It can be unsettling when you look outside your own cosmic front door and see something you've never seen before. The Magellanic Cloud is practically a galactic stone's throw away from us, and probably hundreds of professional or amateur astronomers look in this direction every day. And suddenly, there is a huge object for which there is no explanation. And the craziest thing is that this thing has probably been there for a long time. We just haven't been able to see it yet. This unusual discovery was made by astronomers who wanted to study details of the Large Magellanic Cloud with the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP Telescope for short. ASCAP is a new generation radio telescope and was even intended to reveal entirely new features of the universe, but no one had expected this strange object. With its advanced phase array feed technology, ASCAP is able to capture a much larger area of the sky in a single field of view. Thanks to this capability, astronomers can map large areas of the sky faster and in greater detail than ever before. The high sensitivity of ASCAP enables the discovery of faint and distant objects, especially phenomena such as galactic formation, cosmic magnetic fields, and the workings of dark matter and dark energy can now be observed in entirely new dimensions with this telescope. With the ability to quickly monitor large areas of the sky, ASCAP researchers are also on the trail of fast-moving cosmic phenomena such as fast radio bursts and pulsars. Thanks to real-time detection, we will be able to find out more about the origin of these mysterious phenomena in the future. When the telescope detected something completely different from these expected effects, the researchers were both delighted and shocked. The sky survey showed an almost perfectly circular radio object. In an initial statement, the Australian researchers who made this discovery referred to the object as a strange radio circle, or ORC for short. However, after further and more intensive observations, it soon became clear that J0624-6948 must be something completely different. So far, only five ORCs have been discovered in space, and the J0624-6948 ring was clearly different from these discoveries at second glance. What are ORCs? Odd radio circles are a completely new category of cosmic objects. Researchers from Western Sydney University and the Australian CSIRO organization succeeded in proving these radio astronomical objects for the first time in 2020. These objects consist of almost perfectly circular disks that can be brightened in some places and sometimes a galaxy is located in the center of the circles. Researchers called these objects odd radio circles for short because they did not correspond to any other known type of astronomical object when they were discovered. Completely round phenomena like these are only known in space from supernova remnants, planetary nebulae, rings around stars, protoplanetary disks, or disk galaxies. ORCs do not belong to any of these known types of objects. They are a new class of astronomical objects. However, this does not mean that they are new to space. We just haven't seen or been able to detect them yet because we lack the technology to do so. ORCs 1, 2, and 3 appeared in images from a sky continuum survey, also conducted with the ASCAP telescope. Another circular radio source was discovered in archival images of the galaxy cluster Abel 2142 and was named ORC4. However, this data did not come from the ASCAP telescope, but from the giant meter wave radio telescope in the Indian state of Maharashtra. With its 30 parabolic antennas, each measuring 45 meters in diameter, the GMRT can receive radio waves in the range from 30 megahertz to 1.5 gigahertz. All four ORCs are circular, symmetrical structures, and two of them have a central galaxy. ORCs 1, 2, and 4 
consist of a partially filled ring, while ORC3 appears to be a uniform disk. ORC1 and 2 are very close to each other, suggesting that these objects somehow belong together. ORC4 is 4.2 billion light years away from its central galaxy and is itself 1.1 by 0.9 million light years in size. So these objects are gigantic, and again, nobody knows exactly what they are yet. Some evidence suggests that ORCs are in fact spherical, and this in turn could indicate a spherical wave from a transient event. Such transient events are phenomena such as fast radio bursts, gamma ray bursts, and neutron star mergers. The Australian scientists emphasize that ORCs could also belong to jets of radio galaxies or blazars, but this is not yet certain. Further studies are needed, and the researchers are sure that there are many more of these objects. The more of them we find, the better we can determine what ORCs really are and where they come from. An intergalactic supernova? Let's go back to object J0624-6948, which was detected in the vicinity of the Large Magellanic Cloud. If this object is not an ORC, then what is it? The most intriguing explanation is actually that this object is the remnant of an intergalactic supernova. It's possible that a star exploded at the outermost edge of the Magellanic Cloud, leaving behind this round radio object. A radio object is an astronomical object that emits significant amounts of radio radiation. It's therefore usually less material in nature, but consists mainly of radiation. The assumption that this particular radio object is the remnant of a Type 1a supernova is particularly intriguing. A Type 1a supernova occurs when a white dwarf in a binary star system attracts and absorbs matter from a companion star and then exceeds its critical mass, resulting in a thermonuclear explosion. This explosion could have created the observed ring-shaped radio remnant at the edge of the Magellanic Cloud by ejecting a shockwave and material into the surrounding interstellar space. Or a super flare after all? The theory of the interstellar supernova is not yet completely certain. The research team has another exciting explanation. For example, this object could be a remnant of super flare activity from a nearby star in our Milky Way. A superflare is an extremely powerful outburst that emanates from a star. These flares are many times more intense than the strongest flares we know from our sun. These powerful eruptions can release an enormous amount of energy in a short period of time and are often accompanied by intense emission of X-rays and other high-energy particles. Superflares typically occur on stars that are magnetically very active. Since the mysterious ring-shaped object near the Magellanic Cloud is not that far away from our Milky Way, the theory that it's the remnant of superflare activity could well be correct. This outburst could have ejected a strong shock wave and high-energy particles into the surrounding space, which could indeed lead to a ring-shaped radio remnant. However, this hypothesis would also mean that the star from which the flare originated is relatively close to our own solar system, possibly only a few hundred light years away. This naturally raises the question of whether such a flare could be dangerous for us. But here, the experts give the all clear. A few hundred light years away is still far enough, and our Earth has its own protective shield against flares. This means that our planet reliably blocks even the comparatively weaker flares from the sun and protects life on its surface. Fast radio bursts, natural or technological? When we look at the most exciting radio objects in space, the fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short, are not to be missed. These phenomena have also only been observed relatively recently. The first FRBs were discovered in 2007 when astronomers were sifting through archived data from the Parkes Observatory in Australia. They came across an event that lasted only a few milliseconds but released an enormous amount of energy. Since this first discovery, Further FRBs have been observed with various telescopes around the world. The best radio telescopes on Earth were involved. These include the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment in Canada, and the Very Large Array in the USA. These telescopes were able to show the flashes, but were unable to clarify their exact nature and origin. 
There are several theories about the origin of FRBs. Some scientists suspect that they originate from neutron stars or black holes, while others believe that they are emitted by more exotic objects such as magnetars or even from the collision of neutron stars. The enormous amount of energy released by FRBs and their short duration are unusual and unlike anything that has been discovered and studied so far. The possibility that some FRBs could be technosignatures or evidence of extraterrestrial technology has also been discussed in some circles. This idea came about because some FRBs showed amazing repetition rates and frequency patterns. An advanced civilization would be able to generate such strong signals intentionally or as a byproduct of technology. One of the most famous FRBs that has attracted particular attention due to its unusual repetition frequency and pattern is FRB 121102. This FRB was first discovered in 2012 and it had a 16-day repetition frequency of four days in which flashes were heard, followed by 12 days of silence. This regular repetition was unique among the FRBs discovered to date, and it still is today. However, FRB 121102 fell silent shortly afterwards, which again invalidated the suspicion that it could be a technosignature of extraterrestrial origin. Nevertheless, FRB 121102 remains strange. No comparable signature ever appeared in space again. It's therefore possible that the signal originated from a very rare event that we have not yet discovered or understood. Discoveries such as the strange object near the Magellanic Cloud, the strange radio circles, or the radio flashes show us how much there is still to discover in space. Ever-improving technologies allow us to explore new corners of space, and we suddenly recognize new structures. As a result, our knowledge of the universe is of course constantly expanding, and we may even discover more things in our own solar system or in the vicinity of our planet in the future that will amaze us. Subscribe now and look forward to all the upcoming video hits.